So a new radio has arrived. Let's take a quick look at what we've got in the box. Okay, so this is a radio that I've seen a few videos on actually already. But it's primarily used by people are interested in FM DX in band 2 as I would call it FM um, but this little radio is also capable of medium wave long wave and short wave now as far as I know it doesn't have an SSB facility so we won't be listening to uh, any amateur radio transmissions but let's just get it out of the, the wrapping here and this is just as it came this morning. Let's have a so there it is. Now I'll put the advertisement for this radio uh, up so you can see the claimed manufacturer specifications. Well, these devices that come from AliExpress, we have got some kind of basic uh, instruction sheet and you'll see that this radio is a TEF 6x86 I think that really refers to the chip that forms the basis of this radio and we'll have a look at the specifications of that chip but we've got in Chinese and English it would seem um, some very basic guidance as to what each of the buttons and knobs do so a few first impressions of this radio um, first of all I have to say a bit like the ATS series of radios the ones based on the SI4732 chip it really seems like a kit that uh, has been put together by someone else that was the way I described those and this is the same kind of construction now this one is in uh, quite a nice aluminium case. It feels quite weighty, certainly heavier than the ATS uh, radios. And it's a different sort of format, as you can see. It's more of what I would call um, a landscape design rather than a portrait design. There are various interpretations of these radios uh, based on the uh, 6686 chip. I have seen some that are orientated that way with the screen at the top um, and I've seen um, ones with cases with two speakers in so clearly uh, will give you some kind of stereo effect although with two very closely spaced speakers it's not going to make a lot of difference but nevertheless it it's feels pretty well constructed there's a, a reasonable speaker front facing speaker this particular radio has uh, two side knobs. One uh, controls the volume and the on off and one is uh, an encoder for your tuning. You've got a color screen and three sort of clicky buttons next to the screen. Now I've seen some of these radios in a very similar case but with three knobs on the side. Don't know what the difference is. Whether this is an earlier or later version, it's hard to say. I think we've already covered, but just to go to the side again, and we've got a USB-C here for charging, and a 3.5mm uh, jack for a headphone socket. Turning the radio on, we're greeted with um, a nice clear colour screen. And it's easy to see how this would work well with RDS. I don't know whether I'll be able to receive much here in the shack. I'm not in a good spot for FM, but we will test that at a later date from a better location. But let's just go to a couple of, um, and sort of known uh, stations and uh, see if we can pick anything up. I'll go to... Uh, uh, radio 4 frequency so uh, I know that's going to be a, a talk station so we won't get any problems with music but um, 
Um, very, very poor, unfortunately, on FM here. But having taken this radio outside, my first impressions are that it is quite sensitive on Ubuntu FM. Um, no, the purpose of these buttons here, well, if we click this button, we go to shortwave band. It's sitting in 25 meter band at the moment. And it's actually marked on the screen as uh, 25, uh, 25 meters there. Um, we can switch bands now by pressing the red button and you'll see the display goes up to band and using the encoder we can switch between bands like that and then the red button again if we go back to manual we can tune in this case in 5 kilohertz steps uh, through the band we can alter the AM bandwidth with the yellow button so we had four kilohertz, we're now on six, we've got eight, and then back around to three. So we've got three, four, six, and eight in the AM mode. Let's press the bottom button again. It takes us to long wave. And again, uh, it takes us to a medium wave. Now there's no internal ferrite rod with this radio. So for long and medium wave, you're reliant on the, the whip, which I've got attached to the whip that came with it. But of course, this is an SMA connector and you can easily put on an external antenna. And I'll show you how that works with this radio. As I said earlier, it's primarily purchased, as far as I can see, by users who are interested in DXing on band 2 FM. I've seen very little coverage of it being used on short wave medium wave or long wave and in the next video that's exactly what i'm going to do i'll show you on the telescopic antenna how it performs and how it compares to my uh, texan pl330 and i'll also show you how it performs connected up to one of my external antennas um, and then later we'll take it to a better location for vhf and we'll just see how it performs on band 2 FM, where I think it's probably going to do the best, hopefully. Uh, we'll also have a look at how this colour display holds up outside, because we're indoors at the moment. Although it's daytime and it's fairly bright in this room, we'll see how this display holds up outside, because although these colour displays look very attractive, and this one seems very clear, Maybe it won't be so good outside in the bright daylight. Let's just take a quick look at the specifications of the uh, chip that's at the heart of this receiver. And straight away we can see that it was designed for use in a car radio. Uh, in a way that's quite surprising because very few car radios have shortwave facilities. And fewer and fewer now have uh, long wave. And even medium wave AM is dropping out of fashion, but this chip covers long, medium and short wave as well as FM. No DAB, you'll note, so I don't know how old this chip is, but I'm guessing that um, it's one of the, the earlier tuner chips because most car radios manufactured today would also cover DAB and would not cover AM. But uh, anyway... We can see the specs here. We've got uh, coverage of those bands. Uh, we've got RDS capabilities. We've got uh, AM and FM noise blanking, signal quality detection and weak signal processing. And on FM we can cover from 65 to 108 megahertz. Um, now, we should notice here that the specifications define the bands that this radio can cover quite clearly. And in other words, there is no air band or no higher VHF bands or anything like that on this radio. And they ne never can be. They're restricted by this chip. Whatever you do in software, the hardware means we can't go above 108 megahertz. And perhaps more significantly, if you're interested in shortwave listening, there is no single sideband uh, with this radio. Uh, the only modes you're going to be listening to on uh, the shortwave and medium wave bands, AM mode, 
And of course you have wideband FM uh, between 65 to 108 megahertz. So that is the uh, the specs of the chip. Let's go back to having a look uh, again now at the radio. And we'll see how it looks with its colour screen outside in sunlight. Okay, the sun is out, so uh, let's see whether we can see the display. Just turn the radio on. I'll give it a bit of assistance by holding it up here. I'm not sure how well that's coming across in the camera. There's a fair bit of reflection, but I can see the display and it, it's quite bright here. So let's just go to the FM band. And uh, hopefully you can see the RDS. It, it locks in quite quickly on the stations I can receive. Just trying to find something that's not going to have a lot of um, music on it. But we are in a very poor spot here for VHF, as, as I said before, and unfortunately, it's very difficult to pick uh, anything up really. We'll see if we can perhaps get classic. But I'm not quite sure how well it's reflected in the camera, but I can actually see the display here. I'm trying to look at the um, the screen for the camera, but it's, it's not too clear. Obviously we'd be better off with a traditional black and white uh, style LCD, but this is workable outdoors. So there we are, just uh, flick through the bands. A lot of interference on uh, long wave, but we'll just see if we can pick up uh, BBC Radio 4 on long wave, just using the telescopic. It's there, bit of a whistle with it, and it is there. Okay, that's it outside.